Understanding, mollify, enhance your English vocabulary. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome to another exciting episode where we unravel the mysteries of the English language. Today, we're diving into a fascinating word, mollify. This word might sound a bit formal, but it's incredibly useful in both written and spoken English. Let's explore its meaning, usage, and nuances together. Mollify is a verb that means to soothe in temper or disposition, to calm down someone who is angry or upset. It's like applying a bomb to someone's emotions. The origin of mollify can be traced back to Latin, combining mollus, soft, and ficare, to make literally meaning to make soft. Let's see how mollify can be used in different contexts. 1. De-escalating anger. The manager's calm demeanor helps to mollify the angry customer. 2. In diplomatic contexts, the ambassador's tactful speech mollified the tense relations between the two countries. 3. In personal relationships, after the argument, Jake bought flowers to mollify his partner. Notice how mollify is often used in situations where reducing tension or anger is needed. Understanding synonyms and antonyms can deepen your comprehension. Synonyms, pacify, appease, placate, soothe, calm. Antonyms, aggravate, provoke inflame, irritate, exacerbate. These words can be used in similar contexts but may carry slightly different connotations. Let's conjugate, mollify, present, I, you, we, they mollify, he, she, it mollifies. Past, mollified, future, will mollify, continuous, am, is, are mollifying, was, were mollifying, will be mollifying. Don't confuse mollify with modify, which means to change or alter. Remember, mollify is about reducing anger or harshness, not just making someone happy. And there you have it. A comprehensive look at the word mollify. We hope this video helps you not only understand its meaning but also empowers you to use it confidently in your daily conversations and writings. Stay curious, keep learning, and see you in our next video.